So this is another legitimately important video. Normally I don't make videos like this uh, that often. In fact, uh, this is only the second video I made, I think, that is actually of legitimate importance. But I wanted to make a video about this because this is pretty serious. And this piece of important information has to do with the internet itself. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Now before I start, uh, the footage that you're seeing here is of race injection. Uh, once again, just having fun with the terrible AI on the uh, Mario Kart track that I uh, reviewed in the most recent uh, part of my race injection series. It's completely unrelated to what I'm going to be talking about in this video, but I just uh, decided to record this very quickly and put it in the video as, I guess, background footage. But yeah, if you're wondering what the game I'm playing in the background is, it's a game called Race Injection. It's a uh, racing game. But anyway, that's, that's not important at all. So anyway, let's get to what's going on with the internet. About two days ago, at least at the time I'm recording this video, a bug was discovered in the popular uh, cryptographic software library OpenSSL, and this bug was a vulnerability in the OpenSSL program, which when exploited could be used to steal information that normally would be protected by encryption, such as uh, login information, for example. And the reason this is such a serious issue is because Roughly two-thirds of the internet uses OpenSSL, so many services are or were at risk of being affected by this OpenSSL vulnerability. And this vulnerability allowed attackers to read the memory of a web server, which would also allow attackers to access sensitive data and private information. So basically, it would allow attackers to steal your username and password, and even your emails and instant messages. Now, almost immediately after this bug was discovered, it was fixed. A new version of OpenSSL is out now that fixes this vulnerability, or as it's starting to become known, Heartbleed Bug. Now, what's even scarier about the Heartbleed Bug is that, even though it was discovered only two days ago, it has actually existed for more than two years already. So for over two years, it was possible for attackers to steal your username and password, instant messages, emails, etc., by reading the website's memory. Why or how this bug went unnoticed for so much time is beyond my comprehension, but the good news is it's fixed now, even though it really shouldn't have existed in the first place. Now, according to the internet security and data mining website Netcraft, about 17% of all the secure web servers in the entire world, certified by trusted authorities, were believed to have been vulnerable to attacks while the Heartbleed bug was present. And for the record, 17% of all the secure web servers in the world is about 500,000 or half a million uh, web servers. It's still a pretty huge number, even though it's only 17%. And I noticed some websites that were reacting to this vulnerability, like, uh, for instance, SoundCloud, a very popular online audio distribution platform that does run on a secure web server, said earlier today that they will be automatically signing everyone on SoundCloud out of their accounts due to the Heartbleed vulnerability. And the website of Mojang, uh, the company responsible for bringing us the games Minecraft and Scrolls, shut down all of their systems yesterday in response to the Heartbleed vulnerability. This is why you couldn't log into your Mojang account yesterday, and also why you couldn't even access the Mojang website yesterday. Their website is back online now, and they've updated all of their SSL certificates. Now, due to the fact that your username and password could be compromised in an attack due to this vulnerability, it is definitely a good idea to change your password on your Mojang slash Minecraft account, even if you weren't logged in. Because even if you weren't logged in, your password still could have been compromised or stolen. So, And actually, don't just change your password on Mojang or Minecraft. Change your password on any service you've logged into recently. Because there's a possibility the website may have been affected by the hard bleed vulnerability. So just be sure to change your password. I'm not sure if this vulnerability has affected Twitter in any way, but just to be on the safe side, I've already changed my Twitter password, and I'm going to be changing my YouTube password as well. Not just on my Robotnik35 channel, but possibly my other channels as well. And also, uh, speaking of Minecraft, um, due to this Hardbleed vulnerability, the Legacy Minecraft launcher, which is the one that was used before uh, version 1.6 of the game was released, um, the Legacy Minecraft launcher has been officially discontinued due to this vulnerability. Which means if you want to play Minecraft, you need to download the current launcher now. 
Now the reason this is called the hard bleed bug is because OpenSSL implements something called a TLS or Transport Layer Security Heartbeat Extension. And according to the website hardbleed.com, and yes, there is an entire website dedicated to raising awareness of this bug, but according to hardbleed.com, when the TLS heartbeat extension is exploited, the memory contents that are being sent from the server to the client and from the client to the server start to leak out, if you will. So, metaphorically speaking, it causes the heart to bleed. So, yeah, that's why it's called Heartbleed, and they even took the time to make a logo representing this bug. Yeah, that logo on screen right now is the Heartbleed logo, in case you haven't realized already. But I do recommend you check out Heartbleed.com, because it does describe the Heartbleed bug in much greater detail. Definitely much more detail than this video. And other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Heartbleed bug. So if you were logged in on any services recently, from April 7th up until today, just be sure to change your password, because it cannot be guaranteed that your password has not been compromised. So, which yeah, this is probably the most serious video i ever done, even though I don't really sound all that serious in this video, but it is still pretty serious. It's very important that people uh, become aware of this, because this vulnerability could have been much worse. So, and I also recommend you check out hardbleed.com, because it explains the hardbleed bug much better than I ever will. But yeah, so just to be on the safe side, be sure to change your passwords on any service you've logged into recently, so yeah. And wow, that car just did like a literal barrel roll there. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about the hard bleed bug. Just made this video so that more people become aware of it. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thanks for watching this video. Feel free to follow me on Twitter or check out my Google Plus page. Links are in the description as always. And yeah, that's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Wow. Really? Yeah, nothing, nothing wrong here. This is completely normal. Just physics being physics. A car floating in the air having a seizure is a common sight in a race. Nothing wrong here, just move it along. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later.